Like I said, this is going to be uh, the first iteration of my cook kit. Um, it will currently hang on the molly webbing on the side of my Falconer 27 bag that is serving as my everyday carry get home bag. Um, it is basically, this is a, a second version of a Maxpedition water bottle carrier um, that I have repurposed into a fire slash cook kit. Um, and I will show you what's inside of it. I got a couple of ideas from um, Dave over at Ultimate Survival. I'll link his channel in the description box. And um, one of his cook kits that he had put together um, that he used more of a, a food procurement kit. Um, and so he had some hunting things on the side of it. But this is basically going to serve as my cook kit. And it will show you a couple of things that you've got that you can put in it and hopefully inspire you to come up with something of your own. All right, I think this company that puts this out is called Fox Tactical. Um, they make their own line of bags and pouches, and some of them mimic the Maxpedition and the, the bigger name brands um, that you will see um, in a lot of other videos. Because I'm on a budget and because I am a single income family, I look for things for cheaper options of things that I want to buy. And I found this at my local store um, here where I live. It's in my army surplus store. They, they carry some retail um, items. But as you can see, it looks a lot like the Maxpedition version of the water bottle carrier. What I like about this version is this pouch on the front, instead of being sewn on, is molly webbing um, to the pouch. So if I wanted to take this off, which I might very well do to hook onto my... Um, my belt that you'll see in another video, this can be put on the side of other kits, taken off, and I can leave the water bottle carrier attached to the bag if I wanted to. Um, but let's get into this. Um, like I said, it comes with a shoulder strap, which goes into these two straps here. I'm currently working on getting maybe a paracord um, strap, making one of those to go on here just to uh, make this its own standalone pouch. Um, Urban Prepper had one on his and it kind of inspired me to think about putting one on mine. Um, and since I've recently gotten into doing some of my own paracord weaves, I've thought about putting something like that on there for mine. Um, so inside of this, I've got um, a MRE spoon. I don't do a lot of MREs, but I do a lot. Um, I have done a few. Um, and I've got a review up on one that I did just to kind of compare it to some other options as far as one person food options. But I carry this Stanley Cook Kit. Now you can get this at your local large market. Um, it comes with two uh, green plastic cups, which you're meant to cook in this and pour it into that. Get the can opener out of there so it won't quit rattling around. Um, this will boil 20 ounces of water. has handy measuring on the side so you can see how much you're using. Um, and cooks well over the open flame. Stainless steel, um, as you can see, I've used it quite a few times, but it cleans up nicely um, and allows you to do that. The lid um, has a little pull top that you can reach down instead of having to touch the metal, but it also has this pour spout. So if you're making something you want to drain some of the water off of, maybe making some ramen or some noodles, you can do that. Um, also has the air hole on the back side, so you can put that on there. Um, the handle is collapsible. Um, and it has a, this kind of squeeze mechanism that allows it to flip over and then it um, ratchets down on the lid once you line everything up and it'll hold it on there so it doesn't shake loose. Um, my, cook, uh, my cook stove is in the mail. Um, I'm going to go with a little backpacking stove um, and I will show you a review on it once I get it. The good runs off of butane and the canister will nest down in here. Um, as well as the stove so that I can keep it all compact in there and in one container. Um, I carry just a typical, your, your army issue, um, I think it's the P58, I don't remember the numbers on it, in here so that I can open up cans if need be um, for that. Um, down at the bottom with what I, uh, with the part that I keep in here is more of like a bowl. Um, and they all fit really snugly in here, so they don't move hardly at all, as you can see. But I keep just your typical um, stainless steel cup. Nothing special about it. It's your typical easy to find. Um, 
I think I got this the same place I got the Stanley Cook kit, um, probably sitting right next to it. But they nest really well inside each other, so you don't take up any more space. Um, and not only that, but this will fit around your typical 32 ounce water bottle should you want to use it in here um, for a water kit. So um, I have both of those in there. So I can cook in this. Um, and then I can transfer over to the cup to eat out of and let it cool, and that way I'm not burning my hands and having to worry about um, hot surfaces with the cup, uh, with the Stanley Cook Kit. Um, so in the bottom of this, it does have the water hole like most of these water bladders do. So if I were to wash this and leave it a little bit damp or have some water sitting in it, um, it would drain out the bottom for me, so I don't worry too much about that. Um, now, the... Um, front pouch of this has um, my fire kit in it, which is why I said I may want to take this loose, which is why I like this one so much, um, because it carries in here, and there's a lot of stuff in here I might want to just keep on my belt with me, um, but I keep one of these, um, I think I got this at County Com, maybe not, maybe I got it somewhere else, but it has some stormproof matches in there with a little striker pad, um, and it's mostly waterproof, it's got the water gasket on there. It even has a little ferro rod on the bottom, um, so if I do have something and I get in a pinch, I can use that to strike a fire. Um, but I also have the Strike Force Ultimate Survival um, um, ferro rod, and uh, try not to set my bag on fire. But this throws a really good spark, um, so I have that in here as well. Um, Self-contained kind of ferro rod, and I can move that around as I want to in a kit. Um, as far as the rest of the kit goes, I have some sanitizing wipes. These are both for cleaning the kit and for um, starting fires so that I can um, have something easy to help with there. Also for wiping my hands when I'm cleaning and cooking. Um, I also keep a Altoids tin with some dryer lint. Um, this is a, something you can do just in a couple of minutes um, to help prepare yourself. Um, in another series I'll talk more about that. Um, so check out um, that series, which I'll link below. Um, I also have, um, to do some quick kindling, I keep a carpenter's um, pencil sharpener in here um, so that I can take some sticks, get them down, and get some shavings and start that. Um, kind of the lazy man's kindling uh, and or fire stick um, there. Um, I got this for free from Survival Life. Um, I haven't had a chance to fully test it because um, I've got so much other fire starters in here, but this is their um, eternal um, match, which you're supposed to put some some fire, uh, some fire some lighter fluid inside here. Um, it's got a gasket on here so it doesn't leak as badly as, say, a Zippo does. Um, but it's got a ferro rod on the side and a striker on here. And so it's supposed to be, I think they call it an Everstart match, but I'll, I'll put a link to that below so that you can find that if you're interested. Um, but I also keep a couple of these other ones. These were in other kits. Um, that I had done, so I have a couple more Altoids tins just holding some various other um, easy to use uh, fire starters. There's some jute twine in that one. Um, also, at the very bottom of this, um, from Live Fire, I have the Live Fire Sport. This doubles as both an emergency candle and a fire starter. Um, there's plenty of reviews out there. This one's brand new, I haven't had a chance to use it. Um, but check these out. I'll leave the link in the description box. Um, and I think they're on my Amazon store, so check that out too. Um, but that is the start of my um, cook slash fire kit. So um, it's got, like I said, it's got the cook kit. Um, it's got several ways to start a fire. Um, I don't know where the big lighter is. It probably got used um, somewhere else, and I put it in another part of my bag. But um, just things that you can keep um, handy for a cook kit. Um, so if you've learned anything or you've got any ideas off of this, make sure you check, click the thumbs up below, give it a like. Um, also subscribe to the channel if you found the information helpful.